Okay, hi, welcome back. Okay, confession. I do not watch a lot of Dance Moms, shockingly. Um, I barely even watched it when the show was airing on television. I usually only watched it if I was tweeting live or if I wanted to see like how a certain fight would turn out. Truly. However, this video has been requested like no less than a bazillion times. And since I'm such a giver, I am going to take a walk down memory lane today. Okay, so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video like this on Wednesdays because you would hate to miss out. Okay, I have to admit, I'm a little bit scared. I I don't have half of a clue what I've said, what has ended up on television. Cause I say things all day. I was on TV, there's cameras following you around and I would just say things. And then people would be like, remember when you said that? I'm like, well, not really. So my mouth is kind of like a weapon. Okay, my poor children, the things that they went through. All right, so I found a compilation video on YouTube. I don't know the person who did it, but I will link the original video in the description and I have not watched this yet. So I'm going into this cold. It's kind of like I have a solo and I have not prepared. So you know I'm gonna end up on the bottom of the pyramid, right? Let's see what I had to say. Kendall comes out and she's the queen of hearts. Kathy, we've been down this road before. Stop copying my daughter. Okay, stop copying my daughter. That's not my best line. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Melissa has no problem when Abby dresses our girls like naked showgirls, but when we hire a stripper, she acts like she's above it all. Well, it's nine years later and I still agree with that statement. I thought Abby's costumes were bad. This thing is horrifying. The only thing that is keeping me from running out the door is my sense of professionalism and trying to teach that to Chloe. Clearly my sense of professionalism always is at the top of my priority pyramid, right? She does not want to be like a little dancing snossage. She wants to come and dance. Okay, again, I stand by that. I would say that in 2020, like Chloe didn't want to be a little dancing snossage. Claire's over in the corner laughing at me. But like were those little sausages across? She was beef jerky. She was dancing in dried beef, Clara. Okay, let's see what's next. It's going to be a little bit more challenging than the other girls, simply based on the fact that she is doing ballet. And there is a right and there's a wrong. There's no gray area. There's a right and a wrong in ballet. Chloe rehearsed her solo. I really think it has a lot of potential. It's really different than what she normally does. And there's a lot of opportunity for like emotional portrayal or acting in it. I have nothing to say about what I said. I have plenty to say about what I was wearing. And you I think don't I was have to ask that question anymore. We've established that your outfits. Bye, bye, <laughs> bye, bye, Clara. I, I guess you don't love me anymore. I don't go. Oh. This is my time, my time. When Abby walks in with those costumes, all I'm thinking is this is like Prostatots the sequel. Those were not Prostatots the sequel. We had plenty of Prostatot opportunities that came along later. You're always demanding more special parts and attention for Kendall. Well, you're back on probation, so you got it. I would like to just salute Jill's dedication to wearing faux fur. I mean, listen, she had a look and she went for it. All the battles I pick with Abby because Abby doesn't like me. She's made that perfectly clear. But when I see Chloe starting to cry and I see the tears actually on her shirt of her dance wear, I'm thinking, oh God, what is going on in there? I hate it, I still hate it. Oh God, this, I hate it so much. Those were real tears and those were real feelings. We were on a TV show. You had to talk about things. You had to bring things up. And unfortunately, when you did, your children cried. I'm a little worried about the new mom joining the group just because I'm constantly looking over my shoulder with Melissa. And if I've got another one, I can only look one way at a time. I was feeling myself in that interview because I think this was right at the beginning of season two. So we had watched ourselves on season one and I'm like, okay, here's the choices I don't want to make. So I was really like into that look, I remember. And I think this is one of my iconic lines. How you like them apples? How you like them apples? <laughs> my kids will still say that to me sometimes, like I made it up. No guys, that's from a movie called Goodwill Hunting. Mommy just stole that line. The lead. And she can't make it to the top of that damn pyramid. Chloe had the lead and was still not at the top of the pyramid. It was like, it was like the bubonic plague. I just couldn't get it under control, ever. The pyramid, like just 
It, it just was just out of reach, just out of reach, just out of reach, always. Chloe has ever been above Maddie on the pyramids, so it's like celebration day. Ice cream for everyone. Okay, so ice cream for everyone. Everyone freaking still loves that line. I get DMs and like quotes in comments all the time where everyone's like, ice cream for everyone. Meanwhile, I would have been like, well, let's go get a glass of wine, guys. But that wouldn't have worked for the children. Luckily, the pyramid found its way to Manhattan. Hey, wait, that one kind of makes me laugh. Luckily, the pyramid found its way to Manhattan, yay. There were so many times when I just didn't have any type of enthusiasm and I was just like, oh, yeah, okay, it's another thing. Oh. So like in Parenting 101, if your daughter forgets some ballet slippers, don't flip out and stress her out. It's a couple of $14.99 ballet slippers. Like run down the street and get her a new pair. I feel like that was very wise. Very, those are words of wisdom. If you forget your ballet slippers, you're in New York City. Just run down the street and get a new pair. Everyone's to hear the word nude associated with their 10-year-old. Oh yeah, no, I still agree with that. Like nude and 10, those are two words that never belong in the same sentence still to this day. Very against it. That's a no, hard no, hard pass, no. She kept dancing. So I really hope that she learns from this experience and becomes better for it. Okay, I have to say again, back to the clothes. And you can see me progressively get more homely as the season goes on because I am exhausted. It was like working year round and six days a week, I was tired and you could see it in my outfits and my face. And that Chloe is at the bottom of the pyramid this week for forgetting her number. I am so proud of her that she won. And Abby's nowhere to be. Chloe placed second in the junior category and she didn't win, but you know what? It doesn't matter. She was so fabulous, who cares? I felt that way a lot. I felt so often like when I watched Chloe dance that I was just so proud of, you know, how she performed and it was always so stressful. Like everything was always so stressed. Like second is first to lose, second is the first to lose. Okay, well she was dancing against 14 year olds and she was 10, I thought she was fantastic. It was just such a proud moment for me. I, it really was. I wanted that for her. I wanted her to just believe in herself and it was such a good feeling. This is based on dancing and Chloe danced the best. Wait a minute, I think I'm wearing my disco ball shirt in the audience. Yes, and that was a really exciting mo moment because I don't know, I was proud and I was trying really hard to keep it together and not cry because I had seen myself cry on TV in season one and it was always an ugly cry. So I was trying very hard not to ugly cry on TV in season two. When she forgot part of her dance. And I know how important this Joffrey opportunity is to her. And I just want to say to her, Chloe, you are so much better than you think. Oh, anytime Chloe forgot a dance on stage, my heart would like fall out of my butt because I was like, oh God. Like not only do I have to deal with her disappointment, but I also knew I was going to deal with the wrath that was coming her way and my way. Inside I was like, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh. I love her in dark numbers. It's such a contrast between her personality because she's sweet and then she gets on stage and she can play dark. Oh, she was good. She was really good. Oh, I love that solo. Still to this day, years later, I loved the Raven. Mm, mm, mm. I have it on my phone somewhere. I need to find it and put it up so you guys can rewatch it because that dance was so good. Chloe looks beautiful and her costume looks professionally made, if I do say so myself. Oh, that costume. I love that costume. It's actually this color. I can remember it was like 10 o'clock at night and I had to dye the tutu. It was a white tutu. And I was like in my kitchen sink and then I had to do it that night because I had to let it dry overnight so I could stone it and like glue everything else to it on the bus. Life was crazy back then. All right, well, I think it is obvious that um, sometimes when I watch old videos like this, it kind of gives me like trauma and I go back to where I was and I'm a little bit frightened. So maybe that's why I hang out on TikTok so much now. You need to make sure that you check me out over there because my TikToks are fire. If I do say so myself which I did. But also let me know in the comments if you wanna see more reacting videos and don't forget to link them so I know what you want me to react to. I know there's a lot of sassy ones out there because I get the gifts all the time. So I, I, those are the ones I would really like to find and I can't find them. I don't know, help them all out, let me know. Help me, find it. All right, so be sure that you like this video, subscribe, leave a comment and share it with a friend and I'll see you next week. Bye.